Well, it's great to be back. Uh, I was gone for five weeks and uh, uh, in Michigan, and uh, every summer I, I go away for about five weeks, and about half of that time is what I call study leave, and I uh, I do some planning, I do some reading, uh, so I, I you know I have a stack of books and 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 read those and. Uh, then uh, we go back to Michigan. My, my wife grew up in Chicago, and her family always had a lake house uh, on Lake Michigan. And uh, so we, for, for all our marriage, we've gone back there to visit uh, her parents. Now her parents have passed away, so uh, we own the, the lake house. Uh, Michigan is a big lake. It's 327 miles uh, long and is 118 miles wide. Some people don't realize that. There's a photo of it, and it's, it's a beautiful lake. And... Uh, um, and so that's, that's where we go. Our daughter, uh, Jamie, who uh, graduated from Lincoln High School, 18-year-old, was one of the lifeguards there this summer. And uh, so uh, that's, her, that's her lifeguard team. Uh, typical day, Jory and I would go walking. We'd go down the beach, and then we'd go up a huge sand dune uh, called Pikes Peak. So uh, Jory would always beat me up the hill. <sighs> I was getting up there, and then I'd start ahead of her coming down, but she'd beat me down, too. So she, uh, uh, we had fun doing that. Uh, our, uh, Erica uh, is, is a ninth grader, and uh, so she uh, uh, got to be part of their high school group back there. They have about 50 kids, and uh, so one of the events they had is a Girl Ask Boy Sadie Hawkins event. So all the kids draw a name out of a hat, so she got this guy that's pretty cool, and uh, uh, the catch is, though, the guy has to wear a bandana in his swim trunks or his pants for a whole day, and she has to get it. Well, you know, this guy that she got, pretty athletic, and, uh, and of course, Erica has cerebral palsy, so she had a little disadvantage there, so she got some high school kids to help her out. So she cornered him, and uh, so here she is with her, uh, her guy. Her siblings, uh, Luke, Cam, and Jamie, uh, decided to throw a party for her, a dinner party, before the Sadie Hawkins event. So they invited 16 kids over. So here's Erica with the eight boys in her, <laughs> in her glory. Happy little girl. And uh, then they had another event in the high school. This was Boy Ask Girl, and they go out to a nice restaurant. And uh, so it was the same deal. So Erica had to wear a little, you know, thing in her bandana and her clothes and uh and the boy had a had a uh you know a day to, to get it so erica instructed us lock all the doors <laughs> now this community where we go we just don't lock doors and uh so she she locked them all and she and she stood vigil uh watching uh any boys coming toward the house and uh well somewhere around 1 p.m jamie went out her bedroom and she has a sliding door out to a deck and she forgot to lock it. So about two o'clock, this guy sneaks in, climbs up on the deck, sneaks through Jamie's room, tiptoes through the house, nobody even knows he's there, and he finds Erica in the family room with her bandana hanging down. She's not vigilant, she's sleeping, <laughs> sitting up. So he just slips over and pulls it. It was the easiest picking he'd ever have in his life. So here's Erica with her guy. And, uh, and then they had the event a few nights later, and uh, Jamie went with her. So here, here they are, ready to go out. Jamie went out just to kind of help Erica through, through dinner and all that stuff. And then here's a photo of the kids. I got some of them anyway, of the 50 kids that went out to dinner that night. Then uh, one last thing, Erica had a birthday while we were there. She turned 15, and she's going to Wilson High School now. And uh, so um, her siblings, again, decided to throw a party. We had a party for her, but then they decided to throw a party. So Luke, Cam, and Jamie invited uh, 12 kids over. And before the party started, we decided to take a family picture. So here we are. Uh, first photo, it's, uh, you can kind of see us. We're setting up. You stand there. No, I'll stand. No, I want to stand here. No. Okay. So I'll stand here, the second one. And uh, okay, you're stupid. I'll stand here. And then finally, <laughs> the third one, we're ready. And we take, we take our photo. <laughs> so I actually wrote a song uh, about uh, what we did while we were gone. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Okay. 
Church, welcome to our place. We're very glad to have you here. We hope you like our space. We can't wait to see this year what God will bring. We're very excited to start this whole thing back to church. In the mood. Back with friends, it feels so good. Jory and I went walking every day about noon down the beach of Michigan and up a huge sand dune. Jory beat me up the hill. Climbing so high, I'd start first running down, but she always blew by. Jamie was a lifeguard on the sandy beach. If anyone was struggling, for them she would reach. Every morning to the beach she ran. Though she used sunblock, she got very tan back to church. Puts us in the mood, back with friends, it feels so good. Erica got to go on a girl ass boy date. She was only 14, so it was really great. The guy ran from her and was really coy. But Erica persisted and caught her boy. Sent Erica to Wilson High, sending our youngest it was tough to say goodbye. I asked her what, what was the best part? Said it was getting her ID card back to church. Puts us in the mood, back with friends, it feels so good. took Jamie to college school, Bethel and Minneapolis, it was cool, got her room set, beds, chairs, and mirrors, when Jory left, there were lots of tears, had my usual battle, with the moles when I go away they make many holes soon as I left they went on attack saw 200 mounds of dirt my first day back back to church put the in the mood back with friends Sing with me. Back to church puts us in the mood. Back with friends, it feels so good. 